So it's a whole new year, and with that, whole new content, I guess. Anyways, one video game that has really stood out, like, and, like, gotten so much attention, gotten so viral, so popular, so many, like, streamers, YouTubers are doing content on it, is Lethal Company. This game has been huge. It's a co-op horror scrap collecting game thing, whatever. But it is a Windows-only game, and one aspect that really stands out about this game, at least to me, is the community around it. The mods and the modifications people have been able to do from the base game to add things like emotes or quality of life improvements or even fundamental changes to how the game works. Uh, there's so many mods out there already. There's so much stuff out there. It's crazy. But as is often the case, modding games can be difficult on Linux because the tools you would use are not necessarily supported. Luckily for Lethal Company and many other games, this is not the case because there is a tool that can do all this modding for you. In the world of gaming, there are tools known as mod managers which fundamentally make modding easier. There are tools that you can use to like automate uh, all of the manual annoying stuff with mod installation. And that's where something like R2 Modman comes in. So this is um, fortunately open source, I believe. Uh, it's under an MIT license even, so it's like a very free, very permissive open source license. And uh, what this piece of software is, what it does, is it's a mod manager. But it's not only for Lethal Company, it actually supports a lot of different games, and we'll get to that later. Uh, anyway, if you want to install it, all you have to do is click here, manual download, and then it will download your zip file. And then that zip file will contain an app image that you can then use to play the game. Or no, no, to launch the uh, RT modman, and then you're done. But if you don't really like app images, or you want something that's more of, a pro more of a proper application that shows uh, shows up in your application menus and stuff like that, then you can he head over to the GitHub. The link is also through here. I'll also link it. And you can find it under here. So you can go to releases here. And it will have a whole bunch of packages, actually. So you can show all the assets, and it will have the app image, of course. But it will also have a Pacman file, an RPM file, a deb file. So, depending on your distribution of choice, for example, if you're using Ubuntu or Debian, you would go with the Deb one. If you're using Fedora, for example, you'd use the RPM. If you're using Arch, you would use the Pacman file, and so on. So, you have actually a lot of these different formats, and these are installed packages. They're in your package manager, and it's uh, a lot more integrated with your system than app images. And then, once you have it installed using your chosen method, you open it, and that's what you get. This is what you get first. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of games like uh, against Across the Obelisk, uh, City Skylines 2, and so on. Uh, originally, this was, I believe, made for Risk of Rain 2. On the GitHub, they mention Risk of Rain 2 uh, as their like um, a primary or like most significant thing, and uh, so on. But oh, I'm on Steam. That's the wrong goddamn place. Uh, here we go. So that's like the original thing, but as we can see, it's really expanded, and now they support so many different games. It's really nice to see. They even have a Garfield card packet. Uh, anyways, in here you can search for Lethal Company, and it will give you a Lethal Company. Then you can either select it one time or set it as a default. So if you go here, you can do it as default, and then it will make you wait a bit. So you get to this view where you can select different profiles. So one of the great features of this mod manager is that you can set different profiles. I would recommend actually setting up um, a second profile right away, uh, just so you can have like somewhere where you put like experimenting with mods, and then you can have your like default profile be something you know to work nicely. Uh, so you can add more, and there's some more features here too. For example, you can import a profile. And you can, for example, take a code and just add in a funder store code of a mod pack or like a set of mods here. And it will like install those mods uh, that somebody else has for you like instantly like that. So it works very similarly to how the Windows-based mod managers also do. Uh, you can just import that stuff. 
and then you can select profile for example i have set up one of my own for a single player that has a single player mod pack applied to it you can see it's auto checks for updates and now it no longer is the update so i guess it is updated and uh, you can find that it has these kinds of mods here you can see it's a depre deprecated mod and so on it works all of this stuff like this so it's a it's a very smart uh, system and you can even get more mods within the app and of course if you want to install an app using the mod manager or like a mod using the mod manager you can also do that uh, from the web page of Finder store for example then there's an inbuilt config editor you can like con configure the um, mods themselves you can go to settings you can change a number of things here so for example you can change your game again you can change your uh, directories you can change your profile to go to a different profile uh, for example for a different mod lobby so on you can do all the stuff here and it's uh, all very useful i haven't really had to use most of this but you can do this you can also export your profile so if you want someone to have a code that they can use for you you can also do that and then you can not only start modding from here but you can also start the vanilla game from here and you know what's the best part of this it doesn't affect your Steam installation. So if you launch it through Steam, it will still just launch as a stock game. If you launch it through this is modded, it will launch through, uh, through this is modded. It allows for separation and it's very cool. However, it does still launch the game through Steam, uh, which is a good mechanism. So you get to have a the game in Steam, but also the mods are not like written straight to the directory of the game, but they are in like a separate profile directory of the mod uh, manager. It's great. With that, uh, that's about all I want to cover. I hope it's useful and goodbye.